Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I am Marcus Bean. I'm going to show you how to do my fantastic potato gnocchi recipe. Uh, I know we're all in lockdown, so we're all stuck at home trying to create recipes. I know lots of people have been buying lots of ingredients. Um, one of the main things I want to do is try and do something that was dead simple, so not too many ingredients. So, mashed potato, 500 grams, dead easy, okay? You can put the potatoes in the oven and roast them, scoop them out, but make sure you put them through either a ricer, one of these bad boys, or if you haven't got a ricer, use a sieve and just push it through the spoon to get it really, really fine, yeah? Uh, I've just boiled them up, boiled the potatoes, put them through the ricer, and now they're done. So 500 grams of mash, really simple. You can infuse flavors into this of whatever you want. All I'm gonna do is use some fresh chives, chop them up and add them in. So I'm just gonna get these add it in, but again, you could use any. I mean, even if you haven't got potato, you could use something like sweet potato, you could even use butternut squash, other varieties of root vegetables. Uh, you can make gnocchi absolutely out of anything, so well worth having a go. Uh, let's bring those over to here. Chives inside. Again, other varieties of herbs. You could put parsley in there, you could put some thyme, rosemary, whatever you want. Good pinch of seasoning, because of course we need to season inside there, okay? And then we're gonna to start to add our mix in. Now, with this one, we need to add in our flour. Now, 175 grams of plain flour. You don't need double O flour, you don't need bread flour, uh, you don't wanna use self-raising, but if you've gotta use those things and that's all you've got, it will still work, but this will give you the best result, okay? Now, only exception to that is if you are a celiac and you can't have any gluten, you can use rice flour. Now, all I do with rice flour is just add a little bit more in there. So. With this one, if I'm putting 175 grams to 500 grams of mashed potato, then I would probably put about 220 of rice flour and that will work just fine, okay? All it is, it just is a little bit more delicate because it hasn't got the gluten in it, so it just means you've got to be a little bit more careful when you cook it. So I'm trying to use a spoon to mix it as much as possible. Keep going with that flour, bind it in, and I'm going to bind as much as I can with the spoon before I get my hands in there and start getting stuck in, okay? Get all that flour, it looks like a lot, you need it, bring it together, because once you get that moisture out of the potato, it's going to start to absorb into our flour. Hand in, mix it all together, look at that. Now the other thing I'm going to put in, again you don't have to do this if you're vegan or you can't have any dairy, just don't worry about putting this in, you don't have to, or you could put a, a non-dairy alternative in. So I'm going to put about 25 grams of freshly grated parmesan, this is giving you a lovely extra flavour. You could also put a little drop of cream cheese in. Now some people will put a little bit of uh, egg yolk or an egg in here. I personally don't bother, I don't think it needs it, but if you want to, again, you can do that. Uh, personally, I just think the cream cheese lightens it up and that parmesan just gives it a little bit of extra flavor. So now you can start to see, look, it's starting to bind together. It's becoming really nice and sort of sticky and mixed together. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of little squashes and turns. Really simple. Find that through, there's little bits out there. Check them back in the bowl. And this is my kids' dinner tonight. They don't know it yet, but they'll be finding out when I've finished it. So, now, all that mix there. Now what I'm gonna do with that is split that mix into two. Okay. And you can see how it's bound together. So you've just got chives, potato, a little bit of parmesan, touch of salt, and of course our plain for that. Dead, seasy, easy. Easy, seasy, seasy, easy. Right, over here, we're now gonna roll this. Now, if you've got a sort of marble top like this, you don't need any flour. If you use flour, of course, it's not gonna to stick to the surface. So what we need to do is just roll it. If you've got a wooden surface, then you might need to put a little touch of flour on there. I'm just gonna use my hands and roll this really gently. Now, if you can see what I'm doing with my hands. We wanna try and get this a sort of nice sausage shape. Yeah, right way across. Here we go. Trying to get as even as possible. Coming together. Look at that. All right, no rolling pin, no nothing. And then we're gonna go, and we're just gonna use a little dough scraper to cut it in some little pillows. Yeah. Now some people, and again, traditionally you would see the knock, it might have the little ridges on it. You can get a, a fork and you can roll it on the fork if you wanted. I personally just like them like this, just in little sort of pillows. Yeah, nice and easy. I'm gonna get the other one as well. Roll that one up, squash it down again. Do exactly the same as what we just did before. Starts to break over around the edges, don't worry, just give it a little squash together. Move those out of the way. You can smell the chives in there already. And there's gonna be no editing on this video, this is just a, a one take. 
well, hopefully it'll be one take because uh, I haven't got any other ingredients set ready. So if it goes wrong, we'll just um, we'll make it work. Um, roll it in and here we are. Same again, look, oh, look at that. So just use your fingers and just spread your fingers out until it's nice and even, right? Same thing again, straight way through. Keep going. Now, gnocchi is fantastic for a main course, really good as a little starter. Sometimes you use these just to garnish a soup um, or absolutely anything. They're just delicious, okay? Now, over this side, I'm just gonna give my hands a little quick wash while we're waiting for that water to come to the boil. So just remove those little bits of excess flour and potato from your hands. And we're done. Bring your water to the boil, super important. So we've got that nice and high, pinch of salt in there, bring that together, and we're gonna cook it in two ways. Now, so they're all in there. Now, the most important thing when you're dropping your gnocchi into the water, the water is boiling, okay? Don't have too shallow an uh, amount of water in there, make sure at least half full to three quarters full, and have it bubbling away. And if you come in here and have a little look inside, you'll see the gnocchi literally within 30 seconds to a minute, they're starting to pop up and they're, they're bouncing up and down in that water and that's a good sign that they are cooked. You can leave them in a little bit longer, but the problem is if you leave them too long, what's gonna happen is, of course, they are gonna end up falling apart because they're nice and soft. So I'm just gonna lift these out, pop them into my tray to let them drain just for a minute. Look at that. Straight out of there. Okay, and then let's get the last batch in. All in there. Dropping them in, straight in there. Oh, yes. And you can see, I'm just going to show you in a second. And I'll show you one of those. So, when they come out, you can see they've just firmed up that little bit, but they're still really nice and soft inside. So, we're just going to let them air and just get some of that excess moisture out of them. And then we're going to finish them up. Now, you can use them straight away like that. So, if you've got a really nice cheese sauce, tomato-based sauce that you've made, something like that. Even if you haven't got time to make one, you've got a tinned uh, passata or jar passata, something like that, that'd be fine. Uh, you can use them just like this straight away. They're ready to go, okay? But if you want to give them a little bit of extra colour and you want to make them look a little bit better, which is what I tend to do, uh, is I tend to fry them after. So dry them out for a little bit. Once they're dry, we're going to fry them. I'm going to get a little bit of oil in my pan and then I'm going to fry them. And I'm frying them in oil to start with because of course we don't want them to stick to the pan, we don't want the butter to burn. So I'm just gonna put these into my pan. It's a nice hot pan. And I'm gonna let them start to just catch the bottom of that pan. It's got a nice little colour on them, okay? And the other ones are just starting to pop up now as well. Turn that one over. And this is gonna give us a really lovely colour on both sides of that gnocchi. Come out now. That's ready. Let's get a few more chives just chopped up ready for a garnish. And as I said, the gnocchi can be served with absolutely anything, whatever you want. And there is no set of rules. It can be different ingredients you put inside them, different flavours, but not only that, of course, you can serve with loads of different sauces. Um, we've done herb gnocchi and we've served them with things like um, sort of beef dishes. Um, we've done them as a side accompaniment to fish dishes, uh, just on their own, served with wild mushrooms and wild garlic at the moment, which I'm just going to pan fry a little bit with as well. Gives a really lovely flavour because wild garlic's in season at the moment and another nice free food for us while around about. Right, come inside the pan, let's have a little look. I'm just going to show you the colour we're looking for on each side of these gnocchi. Look at that, that's what we're looking for, that lovely golden colour on the knotty. Okay, just gives that nice bit of crispiness on the outside. Going to get a couple more in there as well while we're waiting. Remember, nice, fairly high pan, sort of about number nine, medium to high heat um, in here. Right. The main thing is, like anything when you put it into a pan, pop it in, leave it, let it get to that pan, let it stop it sticking, nice bit of colour, then you can turn them over, okay? As soon as they start to get that heat, you can then give them a little turning over, right? Touch 
more heat in there. That's down there. Let's just give that a loose down. And then I've got a couple of little things we're going to add into the pan. Some is some, it's a little bit of wild garlic. Okay. As I said earlier, wild garlic is in season at the moment, so there's lots of it going around. Uh, you can identify generally in sort of like the wooded areas, areas with a little bit more moisture. And you can grab the leaves, you can smell fantastic garlic flavour coming through. It smells like chai, really. So, toasted the gnocchi really simply. I'm now going to add some butter, most importantly, and we add the butter towards the end of the cooking to give it that incredible colour and, of course, that extra bit of flavour. We're going to add that bit of wild garlic in as well. I'm also going to chop some little chives over the top here as well. I'm just going to let those sit. It just wilt just for a little minute with that butter. Look at it, all starting to wilt down on their own without having to do anything else. And I'm just going to give it a little shake and stir. Like wild garlic, just literally 30 seconds, a minute in a pan, a little bit of hot butter, starts to puff up, comes absolutely delicious. And then all we need now is a plate to serve. So we've got that bit of butter in there. You can always add a little bit more in there if you want, just to create that nice little bit of sauce. Colours on this are just incredible. And then I'm going to pour that into my pan, straight into the plate, ready to serve. Big pile of gnocchi. Again, you serve different sauces. And then the last thing to do is just to go straight over the top with some parmesan. But again, if you don't want to use parmesan, you don't have to. And you could use just oil instead of the butter if you didn't want to. Again, if you couldn't have any dairy, just like that. And then we go do just grab one and it's going to be pretty hot. All right. A soft, delicate, wild garlic, chives, parmesan, and that is the most simple and easy dish you can create at home with pretty much two ingredients, potato, flour, everything else you can add in and add it with anything else you've got further around as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please share it. Please have a go at it. Uh, when you have a go at the recipe, make sure you take some pictures. Please post it, tag me in. I want to see everybody's efforts and see how you got on. Let me know what you thought as well. If there's any other videos you want me to do, I will do my best to do that. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Enjoy the recipe. Bye-bye.